Morning Live. Now, the Comrades Marathon entries for the 90th edition was closed at the end of November and over 21,000 people have signed up for the famous ultramarathon. Unlike in previous years where a runner could use their finish time from the previous year as a qualifier, this coming year, runners will have to submit a qualifying time. It was something that was done in order to make sure runners are fit enough and they support other running events in the country, of which there are close to a thousand formalized events. Info on the country's road and off-road running races is compiled in this, The Runner's Guide. We're now joined in studio by the author, Tom Cottrell. Welcome to Morning Live. Hi, morning. Okay, so tell us a little bit about what the Runner's Guide 2015 is all about. Helen, it's a book that's been in its now, it's, it's the 24th edition. Uh, I've been writing it for 24 years. It um, covers all the road races and off-road races in South Africa. Uh, I take each race and describe it, how, what the route is like, how to enter the race, um, how many people have finished the race, course records, stuff like that. It's everything that any runner would want to know about the race. Yeah, and it's also very important because I know for so many people they call this the runner's Bible. And it's something that's so necessary because people can't really get this, uh, this kind of information anywhere else. Well, I guess... You, can't, you can get it by personal experience, I guess, in running every single race. But, uh, yeah, it's taken me a long time to, to put together each and every race. There are about 900 in the book. She um, was. And, and something that's so important is you actually go through all of the provinces and you give little descriptions of what they're all about. I mean, having been in the road running scene for such a long time... Uh, you also give little editor's notes. Have you yes. personally run these races? I, I've, I've run a lot of them. I, I don't run any more now, but I have run a lot of those races. In the editor's notes, what I wanted to do was just to give a little bit more depth uh, about the race. There's sometimes a history. Sometimes the race is, is named after somebody who's, who's dead. It's a memorial race. So I just wanted to bring out the, the richness of, of road running in South Africa. And, and give some of their stories. Well, it certainly does keep alive the, the rich culture that we have. Have you seen road running develop quite substantially over the past couple of years in South Africa? I've seen it change in many different ways. Um, certainly as things like the 90th Comrades uh, coming up next year, uh, fields are beginning to swell. I've seen uh, changes of there are more women that are coming in and running races. Um, I've, I've seen um, a lot of change in terms of organization. That, that's also, in, and it's all been for the good. Some, some of the races, they, they get better. Other races, they fall away. Uh, they, they lose sponsorships just because they, they don't organize. But all in all, I would say that South Africa is, is a, a, it's a country that has a richness in, in our sport, and road running does reflect that. Absolutely. Now, one thing you have in here is the Soweto Marathon. So yes. this is a guide for 2015. So you are hopeful that all of these races actually <laughs> take part. However, <laughs> re Soweto Marathon 2013, that didn't take place. How do you guard against stuff like that? Um, I, have, I, I back everything up that I have in the book with a website. You know, so when something like the, the Soweto Marathon, we hold our breath and hope, will it be on, won't it be on? Um, but we keep everybody informed because there's a website that goes with this. I have um, a, a Facebook page. I have Twitter. I send out a weekly newsletter um, via email. And now I also have a, a, a phone app. And every time there are changes in the, in the race calendar, uh, we inform everybody through more the electronic media. Okay, so, and anybody can download that app and have access to it? Yes, uh, it's, it, you can download it uh, through either through the Apple or, or Android. Um, it's, it's a lot cheaper than the book. It's 50 Rand. And once you've got that app on your phone, um, it, all the, you get maps to the start. Um, oh, wow. And there's a lot of things that I can do with an app that I can't really do with a book. Okay, to make it a little bit more interactive. Well, yes. that's great that you're making use of, you know, the technology that's available. But what about the other mass participation sporting events that we see in South Africa? Swimming, cycling, ah, triathlon. Glad you asked. <laughs> um, yes, I've done a book like this for, for cycling as well and, and also for swimming. And they're also backed up with newsletters, websites and, uh, and an app. 
what has been the kind of response? I mean, the fact that this book has been going, and I know it as a runner's Bible, <laughs> and it's been going for 24 years, shows you the value in a book like this. But what has been the reception to the other sporting events or the other sports codes that you've now included by also making a guide like this swimming and cycling? By and large, um, the, the cycling book is, is a lot newer than the, than the running book. It's, it, it has had acceptance. Um, it, it's growing. Uh, swimming also, swimming's a, it's a small sport, uh, a lot smaller than, than running and, and cycling. But that book's been around also for about 10 years now. Um, although no longer, because I don't have a sponsor for the uh, Swimmer's Guide, um, what I do anyway is all the electronic stuff and I, I've done the app just so that swimmers know what's going on in their sport. Yeah, and, and stuff like that is, is, is so important for planning, you know, because yeah. if, you, if you want a sport to, to continue growing um, and to continue having participants, you need people to be able to plan around their training. Oh, and it starts from about uh, June, July. I, I start getting emails, phone calls, and, and you're right. It, it is used for planning. I wish I could bring it out a lot earlier. Um, but, okay, it's available uh, towards the end of November. Um, but, yeah, everybody wants to do their planning ahead of time. And it's so important when you are planning for, you know, marathons and ultra marathons, which is hugely yeah. popular here in South Africa. So, Tom, where can people get the book? Uh, the book's available through the book trade, through, okay. through all of the book trade exclusives and, and CNA. And it's also available through the sports trade. Uh, through okay. um, Sportsman's Warehouse and the sweatshop. And, uh, and now we, it, it's also available through the disc game chains. All right, stunning stuff. Tom Cottrell, thank you very much. He's the author of Runner's Guide 2015. And he also said that uh, you can get the app when you speak about the app, there's also other sporting codes, including swimming and cycling, that you can get. And really just plan your training around that, something that's hugely important. Now, Leanne, you had said that you wanted to get involved in cycling. Have I tweaked your interest, even just a little bit, to start planning your training for maybe a cycling race and actually entering it? I think you may have. I'll tell you what I've asked Father Christmas for. I've asked him for a bicycle. So I've <laughs> ha I have to start somewhere, for goodness <laughs> sakes. But I don't even have a bicycle yet. So Father Christmas, he's uh, hopefully bringing me a bicycle this year. And then I will. I promise <laughs> and you I will. And helmets and gloves. And you'll be sorted. And I'm sorted. I guess I need the helmet and the gloves and everything to go with it. Yes, absolutely. Right. Okay. Sorted. And then I'll be in races. <laughs> <laughs> let me just try, let me get up the road and then I'll get your book. Okay, can I get you? I'll get the book too. All right, excellent. <laughs>